I honestly feel like black men need you better. Like, how do you keep on making babies and not taking care of them? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you just want a nut, you know what I'm saying? Put a comb on. And obviously, obviously ask the woman, too, if she wants to be on your level as far as not want to be in a relationship with you not want to have any kids with you and just want to have a quit nut you never know she might agree with you and she will tell you put a condom on too you guys are both be responsible now um the reason why i'm talking about this is because today at work literally uh me and my co-worker um uh was i i was asking random black males if when was the last time they told their dad happy father's day and also do they honor their dad out of four of the black young males only one only one honor their dad and wish him happy father's days last year to me that's sad and that's that's heartbroken you know what i'm saying even though i don't know these guys it's just sad there's like so many lost souls in this world you know what i'm saying and i wish we do better you know what i'm saying when it comes to creating these babies out here these babies no one asked to be here but we are here right and it's like like in my situation um my son my son's dad never met his son and um and my thing is i just don't understand why he just up and left i don't think i will ever understand don't know how i will understand if he comes back in our life but um like me and my son's dad we was not in a relationship you know what i'm saying and plus on top of that we was really cool like we was really you know what i'm saying like really cool with each other it wasn't like every time we hook up we had sex no we was literally just chilling and vibing off each other it seemed like we both needed that company with each other right and I was irresponsible and so was he. You know, when we did have sex, we did use a condom the first time, but the second time we did not use a, a condom. But anyways, I don't regret any of my decisions because I am a good mother. I take care of my kids. I make sure each and my each and every one of my children as well taken care of so my kids don't really have like an absent two absent parents you know what I'm saying I'm not dad I'm a mom but it's like if thank god like my head is is right up there because oh my gosh like imagine if my head wasn't right and my head was all messed up you know what i'm saying even though i kept kept my baby and thank god i don't treat mistreat my child i you know what i'm saying just because me and his dad is not together i would not ever ever treat my child any different that's not fair for him he didn't ask to be here you know what i'm saying and um i don't know man i just wish our black men's and our black sisters, we do better. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to bringing these children in, these, in this world. This world is hard as it is. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy at all. You know? And it's like so much repeat, repeat, and talk repeat. Like, for example, if my son's dad do come back in our life, he's a stranger to me. I don't know that man. Like how I knew him two years ago. Like he's he's a stranger. Like I couldn't even ever 
like drop my son off at his dad's house and walk away and be like, okay, I'm about to go run some errands. I'm about to go work. Can you watch our son? I can't even do that. He's a stranger to me, you know? But I realized not to listen to, to society, right? Society and is shown us, I don't know about you guys, but society is shown that in a household, a mom and dad is needed. That's not true. You can't just have any man or any woman in your household raising your kids. You know what I'm saying? No, you need loving, a loving mother, a loving dad, a respectful dad, a respectful dad. I mean, a respectful mom, an understanding mom, I understand that raising these children because these children don't know any, any better. Don't even know what they see at home. Right? So it's like, come on, black brothers, black sisters, please do better. You know what I'm saying? If God keep waking you up every morning, it's for you to do better. Do better for yourself so you can be better for your children who never asked to be here at all like for me i'm not gonna put my child's father who I, I have not talked to in almost two years i will not put him on child support i know where he's at he's with his mom okay i know where he's at but i refuse to even do that i'm just gonna leave it alone you know i'm not gonna go to his mama's house knock on the door and be like Hey, what's up? Da 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 da. Here's our son. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna do that. You know, I'm gonna leave him where he's at. You know, cause me and my son, we're good. We're good. We're blessed. Cause he's my son is so blessed because of me. Cause of me. You know, I love all my kids. I have three children, two daughters and one son, right? And I just want to say a little prayer for my kids and to all the children in the world, especially our black children. Oh, my gosh. God, please keep protecting our children. Can you keep watching over them? Can you help them have a clearer mind, a clearer thought? Can you help them be found? Can you keep protecting them, my Lord? And can you help them to see that living is so much better than not being here on this earth? Can you show them, my Lord, because living on this earth is beautiful. It is amazing. Spike our choices and our decisions, you know? Can you ease our children's mind and their heart? Because we need them in the future. And the other generations behind me. And the other generations behind us who hasn't even been born yet. Can you please protect them? In the name of Jesus, amen. Guys, I wish everyone all the blessings please please i'm not gonna tell you how to live your life but forgive forgive because when you forgive whoever hurt you you also help yourself you know what i'm saying and i'm learning with my situation with my son's father not to take nothing personal you know what i'm saying don't take nothing personal and it's not, it is what it is. Because it is what it is can change. You know what I'm saying? Things can change because change is always better. You know? We just ain't, we just, most of us, black sisters and black brothers need to do better. Okay? We need to take our time. We need to take our time, get to know people. And when I say get to know people, I'm not talking about when you meet someone. It ain't about 
it is about you you know you gotta you know know how old someone is because you don't want to talk to no minor that's off limits minors are off limits they gotta be older grown but you we need to get down to the get down to it like figure out mentally what's going on in that head because some things people don't share in their head they just hold it in and then we got to stop looking at the outside the outside might look good okay that shouldn't matter what matters is the inside of someone how they treat themselves how they love themselves that matters and they gotta be truthful and honest with themselves you know what i'm saying and it ain't nothing like the truth. And I know the truth hurts, but i rather hear the truth. Okay, guys? We got to do better. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. And have a great one, guys. Don't forget to love yourself, treat others right, and everything will be great. Why not? Peace.